There is something that I have seen quite a bit on social media. I have a business that generated $1 million and therefore I'm a millionaire. There's this one chick, Batty in Business, and there was another guy that I posted one video on TikTok and I became a millionaire. Now, these people are not millionaires because Batty in the Business just spent $200,000 to buy a property in another country. Where's the million? See, we're in the slippery slope of social media. Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. People want to exaggerate their success. Let me go ahead and tell you, to have a business that generates a million dollars in revenue is an amazing thing by itself. It's an amazing thing because most small businesses do not generate a million dollars. So to generate a million dollars, you've done quite well. But case in point, Kylie Jenner. They were saying she was a billionaire when she wasn't a billionaire. Even though she is fantastically rich, hundreds of millions of dollars, that's not enough. So why am I doing this video? Based upon the false narratives that these people will make you feel somewhat ashamed. Like let's say you started a business and you did $150,000 your first year, which is absolutely great. But based on all these people, it's like, yeah, I made a million dollars and I'm a millionaire. You may feel some kind of way about yourself that you shouldn't because these people, they're not telling the truth. Batty in the business, I think she's a little misguided. Uh, I don't think that she's malicious with her intent because she's very young. And I don't think she doesn't understand that when you have a business that generates a million dollars a year in revenue, that doesn't make you a millionaire. Let me explain the, to you what happened to me and how I became a millionaire after three years of my YouTube business. First of all, I had $300,000 plus in the bank before this happened, okay? My first year I made 62,000. My third year I made 92,000. And my third year I made 1.5 million. Now I already had $300,000 in the bank and I had to pay close to $600,000 in taxes. So because I had that 300,000 and then I had that 900,000, so 900, yeah, 900,000 uh, after paying taxes, that put me at 1.2 million. So I was a cash money millionaire at that point. And how did I have how did I get to this point? Number one, my living expenses were crazy cheap. I drove a paid off BMW. I feel, I, I have to think back, my monthly expenses were maybe 24, 2,500 a month. So I was making a lot of money and I wasn't spending a lot of money. So that's how I became a millionaire straight up because I had more than, I had $200,000 more than a million. And what these people do not take into account is taxes and both batting the business and this guy's like hey yeah i made a million dollars and i'm a millionaire i've become a millionaire in a year uh there's something that's called cost of goods let's talk about that when i was in the storage auction business i had something called cost of goods and i was spending anywhere from 15 to thirty thousand dollars a month for the cost of goods Plus, I had not one, but two warehouses. At one point, I had two storefronts. I had not one, but two truck leases. So our overhead was about 45 to, you know, on the highest month, our overhead was like 50,000. And that's with the two storefronts, because we had the two storefronts, we had the two warehouses, and we had two uh, lease trucks through Enterprise. So I would spend 30 and typically we, we would do bad, bad month. If I spent 30, we would make 60. And that's why it was a bad month because our overhead was close to 40. We only made 60. That was like 9,000 a piece for me and my partner. A really good month, if I spent 30, I would make three to four times that. That was a really, really good month, but we cannot negate the operational cost of the business, which consistently was 40,000 per month, which was 
half a million dollars a year. So let's just go ahead and say, on well, storage auction business, uh, we did a million dollars. We gotta immediately subtract $500,000 from that million. So that leaves 500,000. Oh, wait a minute, we have two partners and then we gotta pay taxes. See, this is why I want this channel, Savage Business and Finance to be your go-to for accurate, uh, actionable, accountable advice about business and finance because in this YouTube social media sphere, people will mention things that, in my opinion, could have you doubting your success because there are many of you out there who have drunk the Glendon Cameron Kool-Aid. Congratulations. It's gonna take you two to three years to get your business to the point where it could pay you $250,000 a year. And you're working and you're working and you're working and you have your job and you um, got a company and you between your, you know, your company made $50,000 and you have a job and you're still working, you're still building your company. Congratulations. I know every day you get hit over the head by someone who just graduated high school talking about, I'm a millionaire. And some cases, it's true. Bad Barbie, who is 19 years old, made $52 million in a few months. It's true. But Bad Barbie got her entry into the social collective consciousness because she was a very dysfunctional child and she appeared on the Dr. Phil show. So for every bad Barbie, you have a million people who are not even close to being that successful. Make, make that 10 million, make that 10 million people. Because the message here guys, and this is something you will see consistently, Graham Stephan, meet Kevin, Andre Jack, you would have these people who are extremely young and these are legitimate cases. They, they're they making the money that they're saying they're making because YouTube pays a grip if you're in the personal finance or business section. YouTube pays out quite generously. And these guys have become YouTube millionaires. It wasn't because of their business. It wasn't because of the advice that they put out. It was because they got views on YouTube and that's how they became millionaires. That's how they did it. So uh, I'm putting this message out here because you're, you're gonna see it because this is the way, like give you, an, give you an example. There's a video here on YouTube that may have a million views by the time I post this video is how to start a cargo van business for 300 bucks. The day that video was posted, the information in this video was invalid. It, it will not work. And if you go to the video and uh, look at some of the comments, you will see, hey man, I tried it, it ain't gonna work. But this video got into the YouTube algorithm. And once a video gets into the YouTube algorithm, it doesn't matter if the content is reliable. YouTube algorithm will spread it and spread it and spread it and spread it. Case in point, like I do not consume Graham Stephan's content. Literally, I had to hit the little dots that says not interested maybe 30 times to finally get my his to finally get the YouTube algorithm to stop recommending his videos to me. Because honestly, and I'm not trying to be petty, I don't think there's anything that Graham Stephan can teach me. I really don't. So I don't consume his content. And one of the things that you will see is like Batty in business. Her channel gets pushed and her whole shit is, hey, this is Isabella, uh, I'm Batty in business owner of two six-figure businesses, and I'm putting out free content to help you because I feel it's my mission. And once again, I, I'm gonna say something that may seem a little dismissive. I think she's got some emotional issues because here's the thing. If you have high level of self-esteem and you're putting out training that can help people make money, you would have no problem charging for that. None, none whatsoever. And one of her shicks, it's not gonna work in the future. I predict that TikTok will get banned in the United States in the coming future because the TikTok 
that we get is totally different than the TikTok that China gets. And there's a reason for that. It's called programming. So a lot of this stuff, and like I want you, if you've started a business and you're making say $20,000 a year and you're struggling and you're working hard, pat yourself on the back. You're doing well. See, this is why I'm putting out this video dealing with these false narratives because I guarantee you, if you're just a regular person out there, you're starting a business, you're working hard, and you're making like, you'll say you got a business, you're making 1500 bucks a month. Based upon all of these social media stories, you would feel that you should be making 100K a month, regardless of your experience. Isabella, she, she she's literally out of high school. I think she's 20 years old. And once again, with her, most of her money comes from content creation, not actual business. See, now content creation is a business and it could be a very lucrative business, but she has a dog. She put her dog on TikTok. The dog took off, dog content. There's a girl's channel, uh, the girl, with the dogs. Her channel may be two years old, million subscribers. It's a girl washing dogs and cats. And she's, in my opinion, she's pretty funny because she has a very peculiar way that she narrates her videos and her videos just took off. So animal content, uh, can't stop me up. Animal content is huge on YouTube. It's huge. So she makes money from her dog's YouTube channel. She makes money from her dog Facebook channel. I, I would say most of her money comes from content creation, which is a valid business model. But the way that she puts it, she like she makes her money from business when actually she doesn't. She makes some money from business, but the majority of her income is coming from content creation, which once again, it can be a valid business model. It, it really can. But but as a seasoned entrepreneur with 24 years of experience, I can look between the smoke and see what's really burning. And if you're just a regular person and you're listening, cause you will see it day after day after day. I am 21 years old. I'm a millionaire. I am, you will, you will be bit, hit over the head with this stuff. And if you are a hardworking entrepreneur that has a small service business and you're doing like maybe $1,500, $3,000 a month, these people could make you feel bad about your Yourself. And I'm here to say, number one, pat yourself on the back and look in the mirror in the morning and say, I am a winner because you are a winner. Do you understand that $1,500 per month business has put you that's the average small business owner in America makes $71,000. So if your first year you did 1500 bucks per month, you did well because you're still scaling up. But one of the things that I, I want to put out to you because it's normal for you to start a business and it's going to take a few years before you get to that income level that you desire. Are there valid cases of very young people making crazy amounts of money? Absolutely. And I'm gonna put it into the rim. I'm gonna give you the breakdown. The top 10% of YouTubers make 90% of the money of the YouTube money. And I would venture that that ratio is across all the social media, <laughs> is across all the social media. I would venture it's the same thing on Facebook, it's the same thing on Instagram. And with me, I came to YouTube, I started my YouTube business promoting my digital product. It took one, two, it took three years for me to hit a million. And I, I am a business person and it still took three years. So to see these consistent overtures of these young people, like last week I was in high school and three months in the future, now I'm a millionaire. Once again, I'm gonna put it to you like this. I'm, I'm just gonna say there's probably 100,000 kids playing high school football. And that 100,000 kids gets whittled down to, I'm gonna, my numbers are just, I'm pulling my numbers from my head because uh, these are not accurate numbers, but just to give you, but the ratio will be accurate. So 100,000 kids gets whittled down to, you know what? Actually, let me look it up. How many kids? Okay, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> there are over a million young boys playing high school football across the United States. It's uh, 1,051,000, all right? So that gets whittled down to about 60,000 for college in Division One, Division Two, 
maybe 60,000 kids are playing college football. And then when it comes to the NFL draft, there's, I think, five or seven, there's seven rounds and there's 32 teams. So that 60,000 get whittled down to 200 and something players. So we go from a million at the high school level to 60,000 to the college level. It might even be 50,000 to 200 who go pro. That's the ratio. So right now, this coming up very soon, there's going to be 30 two kids who are going to become instant millionaires in the NFL draft. It happens, but going on that illustration, there are a million, a million young boys playing high school football and it gets whittled down to 60 or 50,000 at the collegiate level and then to the professional level, it gets whittled down to 2 hundred about 210 players a year and that's what's you know once again there are some very young people who are making crazy money but it's the same kind of ratio with the number you've got millions and millions and millions of people on social media millions but you literally got a handful i would say there's only like 320,000 youtube channels with over 100,000 subscribers and when you get to a million i think it's like a thousand and then when you start to get to 10 million i think it's like 50 or 60 or 70 or maybe 100 but once again the ratios are the same so you know do not be losing your mind over all these young people i'm a millionaire because the reality is it's only a handful and once again i was 42 years old when i started on this youtube thing and i was 32 when i got into business and the whole time i was in the storage auction business i was not a millionaire so be really careful when you listen to these people who proclaim to be millionaires because always do the math like batty in business she's not a millionaire she makes really good money i think she makes 30 40 thousand a month which is good money which is great money for someone 20 years old forty thousand dollars a month is great money for someone 60 62 years old, let alone 20 years old. So how do we get from that? I'm going ahead and I'm revamping the program. I am creating the Wealth Lab. How to go from being an average person to getting rich. Being rich is $250,000 a year to getting wealthy, which is a net worth of 3.5 to 5 million. I have a program that's gonna take you through those steps. Everything you need to do, starting as a rank rookie beginner who's never had a business. And if you are a business person, I guarantee you this program will help you scale your business. First link below, go ahead and get it. And I will see you guys in the next one.